All right, so the, so the artwork was um, <coughs> a lot of his his hand artwork, you know, uh, paintings and stuff. He actually there's a piece book that he has, and then uh, what I did is take that and put it into uh, into the computer and do a couple of graphic things to it to put it into a to a design format that that would work. Um, and uh, and the creation of the booklet on the inside, so. I, it was like a collaboration between us, I mean, of our strengths, you know what I'm saying? Because I do some design stuff, so I was able to take that and repackage it, contextualize it, and put it in the, the right format, I think. And then the album uh, title, at least the working title, was, um, was Intro to Obelisk Movements 101, kind of like it was a course. And then, I don't know who, maybe it was Ock or the label. I don't think it was the label, but it was like, yo, that's kind of long. You might want to just shorten it to obelisk movements, you know. And the general, you know, you know, even with us today looking at hip hop, you know you're, you've been around when you see things go in and out of fashion, you know. And depending on your entry into the hip hop culture, you're going to be able to see some things, you know, see some things happen, whether it be see different different levels of control, different levels of appropriation, different hands, you know. The best way I explain, like, hip-hop is just in terms of, like, capitalism is, you know, capitalism is chasing the bus and it slowly catches up to the bus. Then it slowly gets on the bus, then throws the driver off, then slows the, the vehicle down, then goes a different route, which is the... The, the bus emblem, you know, then you do, you know, the, and to me, you know, so let's say 98, 98, 99 is when that album was being created, you know, so by that time we had already put in 14 some odd years in the game, and then, you know, um, with our parents being involved, you know, so for me, you know, getting involved in hip hop, there never ever was a point in time when it was just, I'm involved in this. There was always some cultural reference. There was always some overlap. There was always some, this genre is part of another genre. So I was never not connected. And so from that entry point to being where we were when we started to create that, we just saw a lot of appropriation going on, you know? And so, we, so to me, not only was that an era piece in relation to the way it was created, how dense the lyrics were, because to me that was, if you ask me, that was like the last part of the 88 era. Even though that era had long gone, so if you really wanted to look at the real marks, it may have been ahead. I mean, we may have missed that era in terms of the album. The album really maybe could have came out in, you know, 96 or something like that, you know, and it was just kind of us uh, taking a stance and looking at kind of uh, Where we are like putting a mirror a lot of times from my experience a lot of people that are most affected or at the front lines of things Sometimes don't look at the, the systematic and intentional You know that's happening and so to a degree is saying hey This is our music. This is what's happened before Let's look at uh, let's look at something else that we could be able to convey the story with that also has other cultural. So it's making the connection of African artifacts and the appropriation from Europe or dominant culture and making that correlation between hip hop. And again, it was just it was the era, it was the time, it was the people we were connected with, you know. So like so specifically like like dealing with that like obelisk movements. There was a there was a, a long history of, of the European nations and the United States appropriating the actual um, the actual pieces of, of art and relics out of out of Africa. And uh, the obelisk that's actually on the cover stands in Central Park right now. Um, so there's a whole story about the way that that obelisk was taken out of Kemet and brought into New York. So that's but that's sort of a, an analogy of the appropriation of culture that we're talking about um, that became like the idea of obelisk movements. Um, there was actually, around that time, there was also a, a movement to move those back to where they were taken from. So it is, uh, you know, just like a, it's an analogy or a play on, on uh, the idea.